Salesforce provides mobile debugging tools to help you more easily build, preview, debug, and test for mobile. With the Salesforce Mobile App Simulator for iOS, you can preview and debug your components and applications for mobile. This video demonstrates how to quickly get the Salesforce App Simulator built for iOS installed and set up on your local machine. At the Mobile Debugging Tools page on developer.salesforce.com, you can download the emulator builds for iOS and Android. Let's download the simulator build for iOS. You may encounter this redirect page. Once it's redirected, you'll see the zip file download. At this point, I no longer need the browser, so I'll go ahead and close the browser. And once you've downloaded Xcode from the App Store, you can find it in the Launchpad. Open up Xcode and wait for it to launch, and you'll be using Xcode to open up the simulator tool. In the menu, select Xcode, Open Developer Tool, and Simulator. With the simulator tool open, click on File, Open Simulator, and choose the type of device you want to use for your simulator. Here, I'll select iOS 14 and then the iPhone 12. The device you've selected will launch on your local desktop, and then you can go ahead and close Xcode. Now I'll open up Finder, and I'll go over to Downloads, where my zip file is, and then I'll go ahead and extract it. I just double-click on my zip file to extract it, and within the zip file, there's just one file. There's a .app file, chatter.app, and I'll drag that on over to my device. And you'll notice that even though I dragged it over to my main screen, it's not showing up. If you don't see it, then just scroll over to the next screen, and you'll see it, and then you can open up the app. From here, you'll open up and log into the app like normal. So let's open up the Salesforce app. Once the app opens, I'll accept the end user license agreement. And then I'm presented with the login page, the same as you get on device. And I'll enter my username and password to access my application. And then once I'm done, I'll click login and I'll provide my verification code and I'll tell it to allow access. Okay, and now that I'm in the Salesforce app, I use it just like I do on device. And here I can test my components, my applications, and get detailed debugging information. Thanks for watching this video on how to install and set up the Salesforce mobile app simulator for iOS. Be sure to like this video, hit subscribe, and click that bell for notifications every time we post a video.